Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Light Sponsor by Come About Faith, Lifestyle and Purpose. If you are new here, thanks for tuning in. This is Light Concept and my name is Light. If you're a new subscriber, thank you for always stopping by my YouTube channel. I love you so much. So today I'm going to be talking about mindset. So this time I talked about depression, how I was depressed and how I almost gave up on life and every other thing. And the reason why I'm going to talk about this mindset today, the reason why I chose this topic today is that I feel there's someone outside there who also passed through the same state and who needed to hear this case. And what I'm going to be sharing with you now is something that really helped me come out of that, that state. Something that really helped me to regain back my mental health. Something that really helped me to regain back my sanity. Something that really helped me to stand strong again. Because actually it is not easy, you know. Passing through depression, it's another thing to pass through depression. That is another thing to come out and come out strong, not just coming out, coming out and coming out strong, and I mean strong and strong again. So first of all, we are going to be looking at the word mindset. Mindset is the set of belief that shape how you make sense about your world and yourself. It is a set of belief that shape how you make sense about yourself and your world you are listening to this video properly if you've been there or you know someone that has been there please don't hesitate to share this video to the person yes people need to come out of that dark stage you know we are in a generation of good pictures with sad life experiences yeah many people come out to social media to plan their videos all over the place with a good quality camera and you really don't know what these persons are passing through okay and no one cares it seems like inhumanity is all over the place like humanity has really 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 come to desert like nobody cares like nobody cares so please do anybody that you know that in this state a very very wonderful favor to share this video to that person your mindset is something that influences how you think and how you feel and how you even behave towards something. Remember I said this is a set of belief that shape how you make sense about yourself and your world. So this is something that it determines how you think about something, how you feel about something, anything at, at all. Your mindset, even the Bible said it in Romans 12 verse 2. You know, that was what the Bible talked about, renewing our mind consistently. So, even in the spiritual realm, your mindset is something that you can't even do away with. You have to consistently work on it. You have to consistently work on your mindset because as long as human is concerned, as long as you are breathing on this earth, your mind, your heart, these are the basic things that work hand in hand together to produce you, to produce me, like to make up everything about me because when we say people have low understanding or people have a very good understanding like understanding mindset then this is someone that has worked on his or her mindset you're talking about the person's mindset if you say this person that this guy has an understanding like he's, an, he's a very understanding human being then you're talking about someone who has really worked on his or her mindset you're talking about someone whose mindset is standing so very strong and nurtured already and when you say someone doesn't have a good a good understanding he's someone who is still trying to you know to nurture his or her mindset is someone who is still trying to gather his or herself together we collect his or herself to really work on their mindset because working on your mindset really takes a lot of work it takes a lot of work you don't just say okay I've changed my mindset. I'm changing my mindset. No, you really need gradual work. And it's not something that you have to do fast, fast, like rush it. You need a gradual work, like slow and steady, slow and steady to get things dust off your head. So I wrote down many things here so that I won't forget any one talking to us. So that I'll be looking into it gradually. So the first thing that I have here is what's first of all what's working on your mindset does to you is first of all it helps your agility as a human being when i talk about agility your state of being agile the way you react to things and all of that so that is one benefit of working on your mindset so if you are saying why do i even need to work on my mindset i have the right mindset i'm okay nothing wrong with you it doesn't mean that you that you've not worked on your mindset it doesn't mean you are insane it doesn't mean you're not thinking directly but 
you might be missing an opportunity that would have helped your whole life just because you don't have the actual mind the right mindset towards that thing yes it happens most and it has happened to me this is something that really that has really happened to me okay because of that depression when i came out of that moment i used to believe that oh life has really failed me it's going to be difficult for me to actually stand tall again and one thing is that once you be giving room for negative thoughts in your head trust me devil has a way of feeding your head with lies he's the father of lies he knows how to feed your head head with lies and things that are not even meant to be for you at that moment i could believe strongly believe that things have really gone so wrong that nothing good can come out of me any longer even though i was with the prophecies over my lies and all of that when i remember some i'll be like maybe this will still happen but i was not seeing the possibilities of it happening no matter how people try to talk to me i'll be like i understand what you were passing but now that this thing has happened everything's already shattered so just my mindset about what has happened to me and about the life at that moment because first of all my agility my state of being agile towards working in my self-development has been zeroed down right everything has been zeroed down so working on your mindset helps you to work on your agility when you are working on your mindset you are working on your agility you can't put aside working on your agility when you are out from a dark moment what you actually need is not crowd of people you don't need much more of people to stand by you you know people say i need somebody to console me i need somebody to do that no let me tell you out of experience Maybe if this doesn't work for any other person, but I know it is something that is general. Once human being is involved, okay, when you come out of your low state, you don't need crowd, you don't need much number of persons. What you actually need at that moment is isolation. Yeah, you might be surprised, like isolation is not that good stuff. Yes, it is not good when it's been extended so much, but to a very 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 large extent isolation helps so so well because when you come out of that state what you need first is to what isolate yourself retreat go for set apart like you need you need a place where you will stay and think rightly like look at your ups and downs see it in you and then look for a way forward just by your own self not with the help of anybody because most times a lot of people give us advice a lot of people say many things we have 20 persons saying talking to us about one thing like at a point you just get confused you don't even know which to take and which to leave you don't know which to follow and which to just leave so you really do not need much advice at that moment what you need is just to stay on your own. Remember, I said the first step when you come out of your dark moment, even if you are passing through depression right now, the best thing is what come out and stay on your own. At this moment, you're already on your own. What is the next thing? You are not just on your own to stay and you know, just look at your wall, look at your window, your room, and see how things are. Begin to say, Ah, my life has finished. My life has finished. No. This is the moment for you to sit with your pain and your book. Write down those failures you've seen. Write everything down. Detail it. Write down the failures you've seen. Look at this failure and begin to trash them one after the other. Begin to see lives in it. I believe the, op- the opposite of failure, or how do I say it? If not success, it is failure. So if it's not failure, it is what it is still success. So look at those things gradually, step by step. Look at your failure. Look at the downfall. Look at whatever it is. And then I begin to imagine in your own personal self, what am I really going to do towards this thing? Now at this stage, the comfort that I need is the Holy Spirit, not human being. I said the first thing is to retreat. You can take yourself for a camp. You can do it in your room. Separate yourself from a multitude of people. Stay on your own. At that moment when you're on your own, what you need is comfort at the Holy Spirit. He's the only person that you need to talk to you. You know, 
to speak life into you because God is the only person that knows every detailed thing about you. He has your destiny at the tip of his hands. He knows everything written down in his palm. So no one can tell you much, much better about yourself if not him. Most of we look, you know, we try to look out of this thing. We try to look, see it from another perspective. But it doesn't work that way. At the end of the day, you still need to come back to this. Either you believe in God or not. You shall know your relationship with your creator, the person that created you, and all of that. It still boils down to, you know, let God speak to you. Let him speak to you about I'm not telling you that maybe the voice is going to fall like a human voice and it will shake and shake mightily. No. He will literally speak to you through your thoughts. Just when you let him in, he speaks to you. Through your thoughts, at that moment when you are writing, at that moment when you are jotting things down, he speaks to you. You might say you are not in the right mindset to pray or something. This is not prayer. This is not when you start shouting. At that moment, you don't even have what it takes to pray because... You are very tired of life. You don't know which way forward. Either you should go back or either you should move front or either you should move left, sideways. You are just at the middle of the road. You are just at the crossroad. So I've said the first thing is to isolate yourself, retreat, set yourself apart from multitudes. Stay glued to yourself, just yourself alone. And then list out the thoughts, the problem, all and all it has with it. Then we leave down to God. At this moment, you might want to worship. You might just want to worship God and thank Him for where you used to be before. Before you get to that stage, and thank Him for the future. Yes, you at that moment you are saying it as if you are having a better yesterday. Thank God for it. <laughs> you, you don't know what God has in plan for you in the future, and we know that the thought He has for us is of good and not of evil. Thank him. Yeah, he brought you before. Okay, let me use an example. You have to write jam. And then after your work, now you're writing jam. And jam filled you. What I mean by saying thank him for the past one you had. Thank him that you finished work. Yes. Some people dropped out of secondary school in case you don't know. Not because they really want to drop out. It could be finance. It could be one problem or the other. So thank you for that stage you were. Try to try to think about every other good thing God has done for you in your life. Thank him about it. This is something you are going to be doing often and often. Remember I said you are not to rush anything at this stage. There is nothing you are rushing. There is no place you are rushing to. It's something you are going to take like gradual process. Take it gradually. Gradually. Now you are not just doing this for a day. It is not like a mindset worship program. No. This is something you are going to be doing when you are alone. And what this thing does is that it scares, it takes away negative thoughts. At the moment when you are worshiping, those thoughts, those weak minds, they are flying away without you knowing they are actually... Because when you come to the knowledge of the love of God for yourself and for your life, you are going to see the devil as a loser. You are going to start seeing those failures as impossible things. You know, you, at that moment, you are not going to be seeing it as failure any longer. You are not going to be seeing it as failure any longer. God created man at first. Man failed God. Yes, he never seen himself as a failure. God never, Jesus never seen himself as a failure. So why should you, if God created human and human disappointed God, who are you that human will not disappoint? So why are you falling? Why are you see yourself as a failure when human disappoints you? You should not see yourself as a failure when human disappoints. If human disappoints God, what about we that we are also human, like human to human? So we should expect disappointment at every point in time. And that brings me to say that, to say this, when you are depressed, when you are in your dark stage, expect talks from people. You should have that in your mind, like, expect, expect it, because when it comes to you unexpected, unexpectedly, it is another feeling more together. So you have to anticipate for it. This, you are in the world, there is no how humans will not talk. There is actually no how human beings is not going to talk. 
are going to talk about your downfall. Even if they don't see it in your front, they will see it at the back. And the one way or the other, it must get to you, if not now, later. So, position your mind. Expect it that one day, even from your inner circle, people are actually going to use that against you. So, the earlier you start seeing it from that aspect, the better it is for you. So, you start with strategizing yourself on how to handle it when it comes. So, and when you do that earlier, it becomes easier for you. You don't get, like, shocked when it comes. Like, when people tell you that I had this thing happen to me and this person said this, you're like, oh, wow, thank you. And all those gymnastics and drama, it won't be there, it won't be displayed that you are just on yourself, knowing that they are going to come. These people are actually humans. And most of these humans, divide joy in speaking about people downfall. So expect it. It is going to come. It's not even a prophecy. It's just real life. These are realities of life that people don't actually talk about. Expect it. So we said first of all, cope by isolation. Secondly, spend time with your creator. Spend time with your creator. Okay? You just sit on your own and imagine what God sees you as. When you keep on thinking about what people will see you like, you keep falling and falling and falling and falling and falling. You keep going down, you keep drowning in evil thoughts, you keep drowning yourself in negative thoughts. So when you think about what God sees you as, remember that he created you in his own image. You begin to see yourself as a reality. Sit down and rediscover yourself in your isolation moment. That is what you are going to be doing. You are alone. You are discover- rediscovering about yourself. You are trying to, you know, rediscover about the new you are ahead. You have to shape in yourself. We collect yourself together and see yourself as someone who is great again. You are the only one who is going to do this thing. There is no magic about it. Remember I said you don't need much advices from people. Not that you're not going to take advice from anybody. You're actually going to need them. But this person should be counted. There should be few like 10 person is talking to you about one particular thing this person will say this person at the end of the day you don't even know which to pick and which to leave you don't even know where to stand you are just words and advice that dancing all over your head and you don't know where to stand from no pick the few advices from this few very important person that you know they really they really look out for you they really care about you they correct you when you are wrong and they also applaud you when you do the right thing. Pick those words from those persons. Take it to your isolation moment. Take it, take it to your retreat and reshape your life from your head. Remember, we are talking about your mindset. Start seeing those things that was failure to you as nothing. Start seeing them as though they never existed. At that moment, I know a friend will let down me, it's that you are more, it's that these things are just for the main time. I never believed that you, one day I was just like, ah. why, why, why is it that this guy is speaking so much interest in me, telling me all of these things? Is it that I don't see the good thing in my life that he's saying? You are the only person that will hype yourself, love yourself, like, love yourself as though, there is no other place love will exist if not in you. It is how you love yourself that people love you. It is how you carry yourself that people carry you. It is how you see yourself that people see you. You don't see yourself as somebody who has failed in life and expect another person outside to see you as human being. When you do yourself, you do not even trust in yourself. If you don't trust yourself, who wants to trust you? So you have to love yourself first. We treat be consigned with God and love yourself back. In doing this, you're actually doing something to your mind. The good things that God has prepared for you, He's going to reveal them to you. And when you are looking at this future, seeing that the future is bright, it gives you hope. It helps your agility stand strong. That I know there is hope at the end. So let me keep grinding. Let me keep pushing. Let me keep pushing. Because I know that getting to the end, there is a very good result waiting for me. Yeah, the next thing is here is the moment you work on your mindset, you definitely start seeing the real you. I mean the real you. The picture of the main you is actually coming out gradually without you knowing. Because at this moment, you're not seeing yourself as the old person. You're not seeing yourself as fa- as someone who has failed or as a failure. At some point, some person, it's my list started from scratch because you've looked at the old things and you've seen that the 
best way to trash this thing out is to actually forget it and forget the fire and to actually let go of those persons so actually let go of that thing that work that is making you feel that way that work that is giving you you know that trouble it is very hard to let go most times but you have to hold your breath like <sighs> hold your breath with your head high and let go of it and let go of it it is for your own good it might be haunting at that moment it might be painful but trust me the future words letting go of that stuff the future what's it do not stay in a place where you are not valued because at this point you know yourself you know your what you know what you are up to you won't let anybody anybody to tell you otherwise you know you are capable you know you are more you know you are unique so you won't be able to stand in a place where you are being downgraded when you are being looked down on you won't be able to stand there so it's my what is starting from scratch my what is starting from scratch but it is better to start from scratch speed is very very possible yeah i'm a very good example of that speed is very very possible don't think that when you start from scratch it might take you 100 days no god has a way of doing things under six months you can recover and recover or under one year you can recover all but that is how fast and how deliberate you are in working on your mindset if you really work on your mindset so well Starting from scratch, you are starting this time around with a very positive mindset. Your agility is intact, your mental health is intact. So you are going to push and push and push forward without any setback. It is good to start all over sometimes. And in some cases, maybe you need to, you need to just re-strategize how you do things there. The last thing we have for us today is be yourself. If you are black. Let us know you are black. If you are fair, let us know you are fair. Don't leave your life to impress anybody. Because at the end of the day, you are going to be regretting the reason why you've lived all your life trying to impress someone that does not even send you, someone that doesn't even want to know that you're existing. Even at the point of death, people will still see something to say about your death, that you didn't do well, had you been did this right, you wouldn't have died. So what's the essence of pleasing human being? There's no essence of pleasing human being. You're going to have a good relationship with people right here, yeah, but be real, be yourself. Let people see that unique thing inside of you, because every one of us, you have something very unique about us, that is our purpose, let people see it, unique, the best version of you should be displayed in front of anyone, any human being, you are not to be scared of any human being, you should only give them the respect they deserve, for you see you, you should always stand on your ground, stand to be you, anywhere, anytime. It will easily attract the right cycle for you. Because when you try to be someone else outside and you are being someone else, the wrong person will be attracted to you because of what you displayed outside. But if you are you all the time, if you are just you all the time, persons who want your company will come. Persons who don't like the kind of company you keep won't come. They will be on their own. It will be, it will be easier for you to maintain a good cycle that suits your purpose, that suits your destiny than just you know, beating around the bush and looking for who sends you and who is not sending you, looking for where you will fit in and where you will not fit in. So guys, I've come to the end of today's video. I hope this helps you. I hope this actually helps someone out there. I hope this helps you to stand tall. I hope this encourages you to come out of your dark moment to start soil again. I hope this lets you know that you are more. You can. There is no height you can get to in life. As long as you are with the right mindset about your destiny, about your future, about your career, about your skills, about anything that you intended to do. But hold on, I have an announcement for us. Announcement, 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 announcement. Come to the end of today's video, but before we leave, I want to remind us something. So I attended an online boot camp on Prime Speaking with Coach Muiwa Fashaki. And Coach Jokoti, uh, Coach Jokoti is the founder of Growth Academy and Multiverse. Coach Muyiwa is the world leading intelligent creativity coach. So, and you are being taught about prime speaking. I mean, if you're a public speaker, if you want to be a public speaker, if you are looking up to speaking to people in multitude, watch 
for the next thing I'm going to say. You need to stay to listen to the next thing I'm going to say. And that thing is, we'll be going live for the first time. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm so very happy. Yes, I'm going to be going live to talk to people about this. My public speaking bootcamp. Yes, I'm going to benefit from that. So you're not paying any money, you're not paying any dime just to sit, watch and get the knowledge free. Yes, if you're my fan, what is it I cannot give you? Mm -hmm. Who wants what is that I want to give? So I'm going to notify you when we are going to be going live. I don't know for now. Well, I just know that I'm going to be going live to talk about my prime speaking bootcamp experience. I'm going to tell you what prime speaking is all about, the dimension in prime speaking, what you need to know in prime speaking, five C's in prime speaking that helps you to become a bold and an outstanding prime speaker instead of just a normal public speaker. And hit the subscribe button, please subscribe if you are not subscribed. And then hit the notification button to get notified when I upload new content and even when I'm going to go live. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe. In the name of Jesus, please subscribe. Subscribe. Have you clicked the red button? Like, have you subscribed? Okay. Subscribe, yes, yeah, subscribe and then comment. Drop your comments down below. I want to see what you have to say about this video. I want to know your mind. I want to know what your take is in this mindset. Have you experienced such a thing? Are you still experiencing it? Please drop your comment down in the section. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.